What's good, y'all? It's Bo Ross back at again with another video. So, I've noticed this even before I started making YouTube videos. Um, even when I was watching other wrestling uh, content creators, you know, before my YouTube days, I've noticed that people, and uh, I wouldn't say everyone, but there's a large percentage of the wrestling fan base that is okay with mediocrity especially what's shown uh, on wwe television a lot of people will give a pass to a product knowing that it could be better or maybe they don't care that it could be better and they're just enjoying what they see and feel like this is how it should be because they're producing it and making the show so they know better than me as the consumer in this situation so i'm gonna accept what they're showing me because this is how it's supposed to be and then there's some people in the wrestling community that voice their opinion on it and feel like the product could be better and should be better and those same fans that are okay with whatever wwe throws out there whatever bs they want to throw out there those same fans will come at the other wrestling fans to question why are they questioning what wwe is doing why are they questioning what they see on television just sit back and enjoy the show it's not that big of a deal and then you just have to sit there and and question their mindset on so you're okay with this bs like you're okay with lazy booking or you're okay with you know no thought provoking not thought provoking but no uh storylines that make sense now granted recently one of the things that's been helping WWE as a whole is that bloodline storyline. That's probably the best thing they've had on television in years. And it's been great. And you can tell they care because they put a lot of thought. They've put a lot of effort. They they are always constantly promoting it. You can tell they care about that. And then there's other things that they don't care about, you know? And the reason why I'm bringing this video up just in general because I got a lot of comments on one of my previous videos talking about um, my, uh, I guess you could say displeasure or my uh, my reaction to uh, Asuka's new championship title and the new design and how I felt it was, it was lazy. And there was a lot of people that was like, it wasn't that lazy. They, they thought it was dope. They like it. And that's fine. I'm not telling how anyone how to like it. But then there was other people that were coming at me like, oh, I'm tripping. I'm always complaining about something, even though that's not the case, considering when I'm always talking positively about WWE, I don't get any of those type of comments. That's neither here nor there. They coming at me as if I'm over here. I shouldn't be ridiculing or talking about um, WWE being lazy because... I didn't like the title design. And to be honest with you, if I got to keep it a stack, it was lazy. This is a billion dollar company. They could have came up with something better for Oscar. Hell, they should have came up with something better for Roman Reigns, who has had the championship for over a thousand days. You're telling me the best thing they could have did, the best thing they could have came up with was changing the strap of the championship black and putting gold on it that's it prime example the new world heavyweight championship that seth rollins has not everybody likes the design but i love it i love the modern take on big goldie and for those people that are talking about well wwe has their championship belt like that because of brand marketing they want the wwe logo to be seen the wwe logo is seen on the world heavyweight championship and it still looked good hell i remember times when big goldie didn't have that but people still knew what the championship who it was associated with but i get it you want you want that marketing you want it to look look like it's a wwe championship so there's no mistaking where it's from that's fine but at the same time they put in time and effort in that new world heavyweight championship it looked good if you guys go back and watch the unveiling of that title a few uh i think it was like a couple months back if you guys go look back at it 
the crowd their reaction was electric like oh this look good this is dope oh man it, it looks beautiful some people didn't love it but the reaction was so much greater than the reactions we got for the new undisputed universal wwe championship and oscar's new title new championship those reactions in comparison just from the people that were in the arena is totally different and i bring this up because this is how i know wwe can produce and do better they did it with that championship that looked like it took time that looked like it was thought out that looked like this is something that they wanted you know they really wanted it to be special and wanted to mean something and then with what roman and oscar got is like well here you go we just kind of copy it and paste it you know but here you go that's all i'm saying i me personally this is my job so i get paid to have an opinion about wrestling and i'm very blessed and thankful for it so i'm not gonna be a youtube uh youtube content creator or any type of individual that is okay with just giving everything a thumbs up when deep down inside i may not even like it you can't go overboard with your displeasure but i don't think i did in my previous video i just felt like it was lazy that's it and because i said that people coming at me as if i said the belt was complete trash and screwed wwe i'm like no i voiced my opinion because i get paid to voice my opinion and i i've said how i felt and I do feel like a billion dollar company that's all about branding could have did a way better job of giving their top champions a belt that looks like something new and meaningful. That's all I'm saying. People all were also making an argument. Oh, well, the champion makes the belt, not the other way around. And to an extent, this is very true. But I got to ask yourself, well, you got to ask yourself this at the end of the day. A wrestler's objective is to become champion of whatever promotion. If the belt looks like trash, at the end of the day, it's still going to look like trash, even if the wrestler is fantastic. We all, a lot of us, did not like the Universal Championship when it first came out. And when Finn Balor won it, it was like, all right, Finn Balor won it. We're happy for him, but it still looks like trash. Even when they turned it blue. Turned it to the raspberry, the blue raspberry championship or the blueberry championship. Yes, Roman has it. That's awesome. You know what I'm saying? He, he's making that belt look like the top championship. It still didn't look that good, really. At least in my opinion. So that doesn't change the fact. You can have a top tier wrestler hold a trash ass belt. The belt is still trash. If it don't look good, it still don't look good. But the champion is dope. If anything, the champion may belt, make the belt look a little bit better. Just how they present themselves. So, I just wanted to make this video. I didn't want to go too crazy into it. I just, I've always noticed that wrestling, the wrestling fans and a, a large majority I've seen are just okay with whatever WWE throws their way. And anybody that disagrees with them, they're the problem. When it should really be... You should have a little bit more standard for what you're watching and what you invest your time into. So I'm always going to voice my opinion. You may not agree with me, and that's okay. That's why we have the comment section down below to discuss these things and have those back and forth conversations without being toxic, of course. But for me personally, I will never be a guy that's okay with accepting mediocrity, especially if there's something I've taken time out my day to watch and actively talk about, actively care about. I'm not going to be one of those people because at the end of the day, man, if you're passionate about something, you should want the best of that, that, that said thing that you like, you know, so if you're passionate about it, you love it, you're going to want the best from it. So comment down below. Let me know, man. Have you guys seen this in the wrestling community? Am I the only one that's seen it? I'm sure. I know I'm not. But have you guys seen in this community so many people accept the BS that's shown to them on television and then look at you crazy when you disagree with them and want better for the show, but then 
they're sitting up there telling you it's perfect the way it is. You guys are just tripping. Have you guys seen that? Because I know I've seen it so many times. I've never really made a video on it, but I definitely wanted to address it because I just feel like, yeah, man, come on. Come on now. <laughs> we, we, we deserve better as consumers, especially when it comes to what we see on television. So, but I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on channel Road to 150K, and I'm still here in the speed of YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See y'all next one. Peace.